Hi friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I go about using my We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel punch board. Say that fast three times. <laughs> Anyways, I'm using designer papers from Kay and Company and I don't know if, if this paper pad is still available. I think it's been discontinued. I got mine from Joann's over a year ago. So according to the instructions I wanted to make a small pinwheel a three inch pin pinwheel and it said to cut paper down to a three by three and I am looking at the directions and I'm showing you right there that it says you need to cut three by three for a three inch uh, pinwheel so I'm going about in making my pinwheel and um, you have to align it to the little corner the right hand corner that you see up there except I guess I didn't do it right because the corner is not a perfect square and I was trying to make a perfect square on, on the alignment so um, with this one you will see that I didn't cut it the way it was supposed to be cut so let me tell you something the instructions that they give you are not very clear I'm the type of person who learns visually and I have to see something step by step in order for me to get it okay I just can't look at something and get it <laughs> So uh, anyways, I after after looking at this device, I figured out that the little thingamajiggy in, in the white was supposed to actually punch through the paper and that's where you see me figuring it out. And so anyways, yeah, you have to punch through that paper and uh, then you have to make the little blade Thing, that little rotary blade thing fit into this device and I just kind of like guessed my way through it because like I said the instructions are not clear on how to actually use this cutter so there I'm going again back and forth and I'm like oh okay so this is probably supposed to punch the center through and yay she finally gets it <laughs> So over here, you see me playing around with it a little bit more, and I tell you what, friends, there is a reason why my son has autism, and I honestly believe it is me, because my brain is also wired differently. Some things are just not as obvious to me, and so, uh, yeah, I had a, uh, a difficult time figuring out this device, and I'm not ashamed to say that, yeah, I'm not the, uh, the best person go-to person on figuring out how to use certain crafting devices. <laughs> So I knew that I wasn't going to get it right the first time and um, that is okay by me because we all have a different learning curve and as I was trying to figure out, okay, I'm going to be putting this together a certain way and nothing was aligning right, absolutely nothing. The circles, look, the circle that I had punched through looked pretty bad okay and the little flaps that you're supposed to bend uh, fold over to the circle were just not aligning correctly and I think that was part of uh, when I went in to do the corner punches I was trying to square it out whereas the actual corner is not a perfect square so I think that was mistake number one for me and and I'm glad that I had uh, recorded this section and because I knew that I wasn't going to get it right and I figure hey maybe there's somebody out there who can learn from my mistakes so after throwing away my first pinwheel I decided to make another one but this one was going to be a larger one for this one I cut a piece of four by four papers to make a four and one half inch pinwheel and so another thing that I did differently here was to follow the natural square of the punch and not try to square it out like I did with the other one. Does that make sense? <laughs> 
Now what I've done differently too on the second pinwheel is that when I punctured the center of the pinwheel, I decided to align it right on that center punch every time I would turn the pinwheel for the cut instead of trying to align it to the cut marks. And again, that is another thing that the instructions were not clear on. In fact, they don't even tell you to align it to the center of the pinwheel. You just They just tell you to cut, okay? And so uh, I, I had to figure that part out too, and I think that works best for me. And so another thing you don't get to see in the video is that I tried a third pinwheel for the same small size, the 3x3, three three, as my first one, and it still didn't come out. So I'm thinking that perhaps this device does not work best for the smaller pinwheels, but when you make the larger pinwheels, it works a heck of a lot better. So to fold over and close the flaps of my pinwheel I decided to use some art glitter glue and I found that that is what works best now if you have the all the attachments that go to making your pinwheel more power to you but that is just something that I did not buy because I wasn't sure whether or not I would be um I would be making more pinwheels because actually this pinwheel that I'm making is for a project that's coming up and um, I just wanted to try it out but I really do like the way this pinwheel came out and um, I know that right now Hobby Lobby has these We Are Memory Keepers pinwheel punch boards for about five bucks and even if you just make a couple of pinwheels for a party or whatnot. Um, it is always a good thing to have a device such as this, in my opinion, because you never know when you're going to use it. I mean, it doesn't take up that much space in your crafting supplies, and five dollars you can't go wrong. I think I have attempted making pinwheels by hand, uh, doing the measurements and the lines and cutting them up and everything, and it has never, ever, ever worked out for me. But um, um, this device has helped me out a lot. Like I said, it didn't do too great with the three inch pinwheels, but with the four and a half inch pinwheels, I am extremely satisfied the way it came out. And uh, I just used straws and items for my stash to put it together. And I think it worked out all right. And I want to say a nice big welcoming howdy. <laughs> <laughs> to my new subscribers, hi there. I am so happy to have you here at Decorate Your Life. We do a lot of paper crafting and some altered objects. Yes, I am moving in that direction as well. And um, yeah, and lots and lots of fun. I hope that you stick around and I will see y'all again in my next video. Don't forget to leave me a nice comment, thumbs up and share my videos with your pals. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.